again, I'm 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 going back to this Ali conversation because it it, it it struck a chord in me, um, and it really, as a fan of hip hop, you know, it, it it I don't know, it just made me feel sad to hear Ali knowing that he was the architect, um, talking. I don't know if him and Nelly got a relationship to this day. He mentioned things like, uh, you know, Nelly still owing money to this day. He mentioned things like, you know, at one point he hooked Nelly up with his management and Nelly blocked him from getting 5% of the deal. Why is it? I guess I'll make it a broader question. Why is it that when, when, when people start together as brothers, and and, and 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 you come out as a group, as one unit. Why is it that you just can't stay together and keep that love after the success? Everybody can eat. It's enough money to go all the way around. Why do we continue to hear stories like that? Especially when a person like Ali was, was such an integral part in making this whole thing happen from the very beginning? Mm, I don't know, that's something you gotta ask Ali on that one. Um, I do. I, I guess I'm asking general because we mentioned groups yeah, like- Yeah, no, I'm talking about, that's, what I'm, that's what I'm about to get on. I'm about to ask okay. like, why, why do groups, black people, like why do we, I think this is our first, I figured this out a while back. This is our first time seeing money. Not me personally, not, not us, but black people seen this type of money before without being somebody who owned those buildings over there, the black man that owns, you know what I'm saying? Or he was a lawyer, big lawyer, doctor dude, and he got the bread. You feel what I'm saying? Entertainment just start coming back to the hood like it is. So 90s, you start getting, cause like Jordan and them weren't getting paid like that. You know what I'm saying? Actually, it was a lot of money for then, but it, they wasn't really getting paid like that. So the millionaires really started like 98, 2000. Them young boys, them NBA players and all that stuff, everybody started getting some real bread. And we start seeing real money outside of the drug dealers. You feel what I'm saying? So this is the first set, first generation of millionaires that don't know what they doing. We don't know what to do with it. We don't know nothing yet. 2010, we caught on a little more on the business side, like, oh, this is how you supposed to do with your money. Start seeing Nas and everybody come out, oh, he made 50 million off four, four million. You know what I'm saying? You start seeing that more. And and all, he, all of them put in the Bitcoin. Oh no, they blew up in 2016. We didn't know what to do with our money. All we had was a couple old white men come to us and say, this is what you should do. And they look scary. You know what I'm saying? So I'm not letting you touch my money or I'm scared to put that in there or I'm going to make so much money that this little money I got right now don't matter. I don't hear you, old man. I'm going to spend this on this car. You know what I'm saying? Like, so it's the first generation of, of loot. And now we starting to get sense with the loot. So now money is nothing now. Now we realize that being rich ain't nothing. So now you was hearing millionaire, millionaire, millionaire. And now what you hearing? Billionaire, 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 billionaire. Go. We thinking bigger, right? Yep. We can see the future. We see it like, oh, it's going to be a gang of billionaires soon. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, if 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 a basketball player played for four years, he he didn't he hit a billion. They getting 250 for five. That man played for 20 years. The next dude played for 20 years will be a billionaire. Will be a the billionaire. Of them, but the next one going to be that because they giving them that much money. You feel what I'm saying? Like, so we just not seeing this. And the people under them going to be millionaires now so if they making 250 the people under them gonna be somebody gonna be a millionaire you know what i'm saying like out of their kids family members somebody gonna be making millions gonna keep leading to our oh, money ain't nothing oh it's easy to make a million oh i see it clearly oh 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 i just need to uh, flip flip it like this so now it's just gonna be that so that's what you're seeing you're just seeing new money and new and money causes problems and it don't even have to be the cash value that I owe you or nothing like that. It's just the power that comes with money and the things of that nature will break up people, break up groups. Uh, a lot of times when you see millionaires, billionaires, it's not a group of billionaires. 
It's not a group of millionaires. You feel what I'm saying? You see one, it's gonna be a millionaire and some people around him. You feel what I'm saying? So now you got millionaires need to hang with millionaire. And you got billionaires hanging with billionaires. So it's not a lot. You feel what I'm saying? So you getting that. That's all you getting power structure that's gonna always fall off. You know what I'm saying? NBA and all them people go off cool because they're individual sports. So they got to worry about nobody but their contract and this and that. You know what I'm saying? When you in a group or you in the rap business, music business, it's always more to it. You know what I'm saying? And that money leads to certain things. But I, me personally, with our group, I don't blame no money because ain't no money that could that could break that. You know what I'm saying? Ain't, ain't no amount. And ain't nobody stealing like that to be able to break that. You know what I'm saying? So people get mad, man. Everybody, I know, I'm. I hang with more friends than family members. You know what I'm saying? So it ain't a, it ain't that. It's people break away. People. That's why I'm just looking at all the groups and all the people in in business. Period. Like people grow apart. It just got to be that. That's what it must be. It's no difference from you having a kid and your kid getting their own family. Go live at their house and he barely call you nine. <laughs> He got his own family now. You know what I'm saying? Like, and that's the same thing. Look, everybody got their own households, own families. It's kind of hard for groups. I know it is. You know, me and us, I don't think it's hard for us, but I, I see how it can be hard for groups, especially put together groups. Cause you know, um, because you got different stuff going on. Everybody got different aspirations, different dreams. You change every five, six, seven years. You're not the same person you was when you was 21. You know what I'm saying? Like, so different stuff irritates you or different stuff this. So people look at stuff different. It's a lot to that. It's a lot to why why groups don't. I, I went back to the temps and everybody to see what, what's the real science behind that. And it's, it's it starts with money and power. But I think the respect comes in play at some point. So it's always money, power, respect when we're dealing with business and money, right? So I think power, I think money and power always shown itself. But now we're seeing people lose respect for each other for doing stuff that they don't approve of. You know what I'm saying? You know, you know, you you broke it down well. Um, and I understand every word you're saying. I get it. Every five, six, seven years, we as human beings, we change. Um, you know, coming up on the block, whether you got rich or not, you 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 could have been super tight with dudes on the block. But if you go and move or, or go to college or whatever, you get a new set of friends. And you don't have the time, not necessarily that you don't want to, but you don't have the time to chill with the dudes who you spent every waking moment. You go to school, now you got a different set of friends, you get into the workforce, okay, the dudes you was hanging out with in school, maybe y'all ain't as tight as you once was. I, I respect that. I, I, I think what, what bothered me, Sean, the most, and you can't speak on this, I get it. This would have to be a conversation I have with Ali himself. Uh, you know, it almost, it almost felt as though he felt, Ali himself felt as though his opportunities to make money was being blocked by somebody who he helped become a multimillionaire. And that part, I don't really understand. I don't. But, um, you know, I, I get it. It, it. it just is what it is. What's up, guys? Thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video. Truly appreciate you. If you like anything you heard here today, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you know anybody that can benefit from this message, feel free to share. Peace and love. Make every move a power move. And I'll catch you all on the next video.